Hey, thanks for stopping me by. In today's video, I want to talk about a LinkedIn Profinder request for an interview coach that recently hit my inbox. This individual here, have it on the screen, he's looking at industries and accounting and finance, human resources, and he says that he's okay at landing interviews, but he almost never receives a call back. So the first thing that I would be wondering is when he talks about landing interviews, are these phone interviews or are they in-person interviews? Because two different things. So I want you to understand something is number one, that with a phone interview, it's trying to validate your competence. The resume validates your competence. The phone interview validates your competence. So there could be a couple of things that are going on there if he's not even getting past the phone interview. Number one, he's not being able to validate his competence based upon what he says on the resume. And this could be a result that he doesn't have really some good stories to share on the phone with that recruiter or potential hiring manager. So the one thing that I would really kind of suggest in a situation like this is go bullet point by bullet point or um, sentence by sentence, if it's more in a paragraph form, asking yourself, how do I know I did a good job? doing this and then break it down into something that's called a star statement. So a star stands for the situation, the task that you were faced with or the responsibility you were faced with, the actions that you took and what were the results of this. So try to take each bullet point or each line item there and create a star story behind that. Really kind of keep it in the back of your mind how do I know that I did a good job? Now, on top of this, if it is a phone interview, I want to make sure that you are in an area that is um, has no dis, uh, distractions with it. So no TVs in the background. My God, please don't be driving a car while you're trying to uh, focus on an interview because I've had that happen with me and that client or candidate, excuse me, was never ever called back. Make sure that you're speaking clearly into the phone. I would recommend wearing some earbuds with a microphone there. I think that has the best sound to it versus just trying to hold the phone up to your ear. Uh, a lot of times if you stand up, you sound more impactful, more purposeful. So take all of these into consideration and you're probably going to start getting more in-person interviews. Now, the in-person interview, something I want you to understand is more about compatibility and likability than it is about competence. Sure, you may still have a couple of questions that will validate your competence. Going back to the star stories, again, it's a great one to bring in because one star story can answer multiple types of questions out there. But really, it becomes more about compatibility and likability than it does about competence. So you want to get into rapport with that individual as fast as possible. And there's four, I like four mantra, these four mantras to, you know, just this is who you need to represent. I'm a professional, which means that you arrive on time, that you are dressed appropriately, that I have no problems, which you're, you're not going to talk about any me situations out there or, you know, sorry, I was late or, you know, the kids had to drop them off. No problems whatsoever. You create no problems and you're there to solve all of your problems. So this is the image that you want to get across. But here's the bottom line. The studies have shown that really the the first impressions are created in the first 20 seconds of the interview. So again, what's happening during those first 20 seconds? You're standing up. You don't want to be tight. You want to be relaxed. You know, shoulders back, a good firm handshake, eye contact, smile. If a beverage is offered to you, make sure that you accept this beverage. I have a whole other video on that. But you want to get yourself in rapport with the individual. So again, going back to the beginning, I'm not certain if this individual is talking about he's not getting callbacks after the first telephone interview or he's not getting callbacks after an in-person interview. Two different things. It's your resume. It's the phone screen that validates your competence. It's the in-person interview where compatibility and likability becomes a little bit more important. 
And with all of this, I have a great ebook. It's in the notes section below. Definitely check it out. It's called the five top interview questions that any hiring manager really wants to know about you and best practice answers to these questions. It's a free download. I have it in the notes section below. So I want to thank you for stopping by for this video. Make sure that if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That way you're not going to miss anything moving forward. And I look forward to seeing you next week in my next video. Thanks.